Like other data, messages are output in process screens using special objects. Generally speaking, the message system is used for display, logging and archiving of system and process states. Important additional information makes it easier to quickly detect, localize and eliminate errors in the process execution or within the automation system so that plant downtimes can be avoided or substantially reduced. One way to generate messages is the bit or analog message procedure, which is configured in the Simatic HMI software. If it detects that a binary tag has changed status, or that an analog tag has exceeded a limit value, the HMI system triggers a message and has it output with a timestamp generated for it. With this procedure, the HMI system handles both the detection of events and the management of messages. Because of its integration into Step 7, the HMI system also supports Step 7's comfortable message number procedure, which we will present to you in the next scene. In the message number procedure, the automation system assumes all reporting tasks, which has a number of decisive advantages. Two classes of messages are available. System-specific messages for system monitoring, and user-defined messages for process monitoring. Diagnosable modules are able to trigger system messages if required. The texts of these messages are predefined in the system and correspond to specific events, such as an access error. With user-defined messages, on the other hand, the project planner determines the event that will trigger a message and the message text. Three types of user-defined messages can be distinguished. Diagnostic messages are best suited for monitoring the process execution. Block-related messages indicate process states. They can contain accompanying values that were recorded at the time of the event. The message text may vary depending on the accompanying values. With an S7400 CPU and Simatic WinCC as HMI system, it is also possible to configure symbol-related messages for monitoring Boolean operands directly in the symbol editor. All these message types basically work on the same principle. When the messages are configured in Step 7, the texts and attributes are stored in the common database and passed on to the operating device during the transfer of the HMI-relevant data. At runtime, a system internal or user program detection routine detects the event to be reported and calls a special system block to organize the message. The system block transfers the specific information, such as message number, status and timestamp, into the controller's message buffer. The S7 communication system now generates a message telegram and sends it to the operating device. Here, the internal diagnostics handler adds the text that correspond to the message number and displays the message. In comparison to the bit or analog message procedure provided by the HMI system, the message number procedure in Step 7 has, for instance, the following advantages. The controller generates the timestamp right after the event. Messages are only transmitted if an event actually happens. Without such an event, they do not add to the bus load. Since messages are centrally managed in the controller, they have the same status even if they appear on more than one operating device. All these advantages allow high-performance system and process diagnostics. Additional support for the generation and handling of user-defined process messages is provided by the Simatic Diagnostic Tools S7P Diag and ProAgent, which offer, for instance, predefined diagnostic screens. Last but not least, we will show the screens of a real-life project to give you an idea of how all the above tools interact.